What's up, guys? If you are into music reaction channels that are honest, raw, and authentic, look no further. You found your destination. It is the Taz and Philly Show. Welcome to our journey. And make sure that you subscribe below and enjoy the show. <laughs> Hey everybody, what is good? How you doing? This is your guy Taz with Taz and Philly, giving you what you always come here for, music reactions. So this is a group that this channel have never reacted to before. What I do know is they're a Swedish band. So um, we reacted to one or two Swedish bands. I know um, Sabaton is one of them, um, which are amazing. Love, love, love them. Um, so this one is called, well, this band is called Evergrey and the song is where August mourns. Um, it's going to be interesting and exciting to hear in a moment what their style is like, um, because that's the beauty of this channel. Like 95%, I would say of the songs that Philly and I react to are songs that we've never heard before or even groups that we've never heard before. So it's just an amazing a testament to there's so much music out there in the world that many of us haven't even heard yet. Um, and that's good because imagine if we heard every last single song out there in the world. It's like, you know, so it's always exciting. It's like opening up a proverbial holiday gift and you're getting a new song, at least to us, at least. So, um, we represent music appreciation. Please make sure if you like the song at the end, you go to the links that I provide and like and comment on the song. Also, I provide Evergrey's um, YouTube channel link. Make sure you go there and, and subscribe, please. Imagine if it was you. Wouldn't you like to wake up the next day and say, oh, wow, somebody subscribed to the channel and they liked the song. So let's represent, represent, represent. Um, Make sure that you subscribe and like and comment us first, though. Appreciate that. Also, please go to our community tab, please. We always post things during there. There's one right now that's important called What Do You Want is the subject line. Uh, please read it and comment on there. We're uh, vamping, revamping our Patreon page. And we want to know what benefits and features would you like, which would make you more prone to joining and subscribing to help out this channel. Because bills don't pay themselves. <laughs> so please help out the channel and keep us sustained. Um, and if you like this song also, let's represent and support them the even further. Go to their Spotify or wherever they're um, uh, housing the music for sale and help out, um, help them out. So this is Evergrey, Where August Mourns, a Swedish band. I will commentate more afterwards, but here we go.
Oh. Whew. Oh my God. I one thing I love, love about this channel is like how I mentioned beforehand, there's so many songs that we've never heard of. And like that first time when you're playing it for the first time, not knowing what to expect. And like this, you're just happily surprised um, because you can only make a first impression once. Facts. Let me tell you something. There's so much on my brain that I want to say. First of all, love the song. Uh, You saw me jamming. Uh, The lead singer's voice, who I don't know who he is, but he has an amazing voice. The texture to his voice in this particular song, you can hear like the you heard like pain and you heard some angst in there, like some yearning to um and you could feel it like his voice really matched the lyrics love his voice that the vocals that the um the tone of it and everything like that the band was stellar i love how there was a moment when they had their moment to shine and like they were just tearing it up um on the instruments um i love the video itself you know it, it just was it just set the mood because it was like dark uh ambiance so it kind of set the mood to the lyrics and meaning of the song so what i took from it is you know he made a lot of references a lot of metaphors and stuff relating to like like being alone like solitude isolation um he said this one part about um i like basically i used to dream a lot and then and now i stopped stop dreaming and um i'm all alone so that could be like a juxtaposition before at one point of his life Maybe everything was going great. Used to be a go getter, chase dreams and stuff like that. And all of a sudden, there's this loss, and now there's like solitude. It's like what what to do next? Um, he referred to like nothingness, and like that that gives me a sense of like insignificance and not like a purpose. Like if you feel like you're at nothingness, you know that's a sad thing. Like you just don't feel like worthy. You feel like what am I here for? What's going on? Like, it's just um, not a mindset that's wonderful to be in. Um, What I don't know, if you know, let us know in the comments. Like, so this sounds relatable, like to him personally. So let us know in the comments, is this like a personal story of his or is it relating to many people in general? Because a lot of people go through this where they just feel like isolated and there's some type of emotional loss. Um, was there a catalyst to this in this song? Like what caused the emotional loss? Was it like the loss of a loved one? That was maybe your your uh, dynamic duo and then they're gone. So then now all of a sudden you don't know how to comprehend and cope. So you feel like this loneliness. I don't know if it's relating to that or is it just in general? Some people just in general may just feel like, what am I here for? I have no desire to like dream anymore. I feel like incomplete. So um, really, really impactful. Like, I like that shit a lot. Um, I'm so happy. <laughs> I'm like giddy like a junk, drunken man. Because you never know what you're going to get. Like, we keep it real and authentic here. So, like, if this song had sucked, I would have said so. But it doesn't. And that's fine with me. Like, I don't look for songs that I don't like. Um, it just it is what it is. But this is not the case. This is very, very good. The whole package, like like I said, the vocals stellar, the um the band musically, um it, with the instruments stellar, um the point and ambiance that the the video gave on top of the meaning and lyrics of the song was just amazing. I'm now interested to know more about Evergrey, so let us know about any other songs that um that they do uh this is cool so now this is another swedish band that we that's that's going to be part of this channel um so that's pretty damn cool so might as well ask like ask let us know if they know sabaton like i don't want to assume that because you have two swedish bands they're all like a besties and stuff like that but it'd be interesting to know um wow loved it loved it loved it so um I hope they're still around, still doing their thing. If so, I wish you continuous success. I don't know if you ever see this. Wish you continuous success. Since we represent music appreciation on this channel, um, I'm going to promote it on all our social media sites. Um, And we practice what we preach. We don't tell you to go and subscribe if we don't go subscribe. So I'm going to subscribe, actually, as soon as I finish recording this. And I'm also going to like and comment on the song. Hope they see it. But um, 
But yeah, I love this. So this comes at a part of our show. We always do our thumbs up pass if we like it. Thumbs down ass if we don't like it. Come on now. The way I was talking, boom. Thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up. Loved it, loved it, loved it. All right, well, this is Taz with Taz and Philly. Um, I can't think of anything else I want to say except I hope you watch this. To some of our fantastics that come on here only when their favorite artist appears, hopefully you'll give this a listen. You might surprise yourself and be like, oh, I like this song. Let me add this to my playlist or repertoire. So anyway, take it easy and keep it breezy. <laughs> Ha, ha, ha.